Hello students! Welcome to our Science 7 Quarter 1 Module 5. The title of our module is Distinguishing Mixtures from Substances Based on a Set of Properties Part 2. Let's go! How to use this module? Before starting the module, kindly set aside the other tasks that will disturb you while enjoying the lessons. Read the simple instructions below to successfully attain the objectives of this kit. Have fun! First, read carefully all the contents and follow the instructions indicated on every page of this module. Write in your notebook or any writing pad the concepts about the lessons. Writing enhances learning, which is important to develop and keep in mind. Write in your notebook the concepts that you learned. Writing enhances learning and helps you keep in mind what is important. Perform all the provided activities in the module. Let your facilitator or guardian assess your answers using the answer key and enjoy studying. Let's move on. Parts of this module Expectations, Pretest, Looking Back to Your Lesson, Brief Introduction, Activities, Remember, Check Your Understanding, and Post Test. This will measure how much you learned from the entire SLEM. Our lesson is Household Mixtures and Substances. Expectations classify materials as substances and mixtures. Determine unknown materials as substances or mixtures based on a given description statement. Appreciate the importance of mixtures and compounds in daily living, environment, and industries. So, let's now move on to your pre-test. Directions, choose the correct answer for each question. Write the letter of your choice in a separate answer sheet. So you have your five questions and all you have to do is to write the letter of the correct answer. Kayang kaya mo yan. Looking back to your lesson, tell me what is next. Direction, match each set of words to the picture that will best illustrate its final product. Write the letter of your choice on your answer sheet. So we have here an example. Sweetened banana plus sago pearl plus milk plus ice equals. So you're going to choose here. Letter A picture, letter B picture, or letter C. So the correct answer here is letter C. We have a saging con yellow. Let's now move on. So we have here five. We have here five. We have table sugar plus water, sago pearl plus milk, plus table sugar plus grass jelly, calamansi plus water plus sugar, earrings plus necklace plus ring plus bracelet, and we have hot water plus coffee plus table sugar plus creamer. Example natin tong number 4, earrings plus necklace plus ring plus bracelet. So let's choose the correct answer here, A, B, C, D, or E. What's the correct answer? Very good. The correct answer is letter A. We have earrings plus necklace plus ring plus bracelet. So you're going to write here letter A. Let's move on. Brief introduction. Mixtures and pure substances have varied components. Previously, you have learned that the mixtures and pure substances differ on their physical properties. Observable characteristics and composition. In a mixture, materials are combined physically while in a pure substance, materials such as elements or compounds are chemically combined to form a new substance. Last week, minagarala natin that mixtures, you can, you, these are the substances that combine physically. You can use your bare hands or spoon and fork, madali lang, right? And there are two types, homogeneous and heterogeneous mixtures. Under pure substances, we have elements and compounds, which compounds are chemically joined to or more elements. So, yun yung pagkakaiba ng mixtures and compounds. Mixtures physically combine while compounds chemically combine. Other properties used for identifying an unknown material as mixtures of substances. So these are the other properties na pwede nating pagbasihan para masabi natin na ang material ba ay mixture or substance. Number one, we have density. 
Different materials exhibit different densities. You can compare the density of an unknown substance with those densities of a known substance. However, it is possible that two materials could have the same density. If that happens, you need another property to determine the sample. Ibig sabihin, yung mga materials, meron silang kanya-kanyang densities. Meron akong isesend sa inyo na table ng mga substances or materials na kasama yung kanilang density para malalaman nyo kung mixture ba yun or substance. Pero, there is a possible na may mga materials na pareho sila ng density. Kaya, kailangan natin pag-aralan yung ibang property nila para mas masabi natin kung mixture ba sila or substance. Number two is heating properties. Materials have behaved differently when heat is applied. Some may heat up gradually while others can increase temperature quickly. Like for example, metals are good conductors of heat so they warm up quickly when heated. While other materials like insulators are poor conductors of heat as it took a long time for them to increase their temperature. Review muna tayo ng ibig sabihin ng conductors and insulators. When we say conductors, they allow heat and current to pass through. While insulators naman, they do not allow the energy to pass through yung current at saka heat. Example ng conductors ay metals. Example naman ng insulators, plastics. Let's move on. Solubility. Different materials like substances behave differently when mixed with another material like water as a universal solvent. Substances have different solubility in water. One substance may dissolve easily and completely while others are partially dissolved or not soluble at all. However, concentrations of a substance may affect solubility. So, different materials like substances behave differently. Ibig sabihin, hindi lahat ay pare-pareho or sabay-sabay silang kayang tunawin ng tubig or kaya silang madissolve sa water. There are some materials that are soluble in water and there are some some materials that are not soluble sa water. Electric properties. Substances vary in electrical conductivity. One substance may allow electric charge to flow on them easily as they are good conductors of electricity like metals. Other substances are insulators as they stop the electric flow to pass on them. A known substance can be tested through electrical conductivities using available appropriate equipment. Ibig sabihin, some are good conductors and some are not good conductors of heat and electricity. Magnetic properties. Substances are magnetic as they are attracted to magnets, magnets while others are not. Different metals have varying magnetic attractions. Not all metals are attracted to a magnet. Metals containing iron, nickel, and cobalt are magnetic while others like aluminum, copper, and zinc are not are not magnetic. Ibig sabihin, there are substances na na-attract sa magnet at meron namang mga substances na hindi na-attract sa magnets. Activities. Lesson 1. Activity 1.1 Finding Mixtures and Substances at Home Classify substances and mixtures found at home Identify common names, chemical names, and formulas of a mixture and substances What are the materials needed? Any material that you can see at home Bawal lumabas in the kitchen, refrigerator, bathroom, laundry area all you have to do is to visit your kitchen, cabinet shelf, first aid kit, refrigerator, and even your bathroom or laundry area. List down things that you have seen at home and classify these products into mixtures and substances. Put a check based on its classification. Bigyan ko kayo ng example. Table 1, materials at home, mixtures, substances, common name, chemical name, and formula. Sagutan natin yung number 1. So, ano ba yung madalas na nakikita sa kitchen? For example, I have a salt. So, you're going to write here, salt. Mixture ba siya or substance? Which one? Very good, substance. So, check natin, substance. What is the common name? Salt. What is the chemical name? Sodium chloride. And what is the chemical formula? Capital N, small letter A, capital C, and small letter L. N-A-C-L. So, ganun ha, ulitin ko. Salt, 
substance, common name salt, chemical name sodium chloride, chemical formula, and ACL. So, kayo naman sa numbers 2, 3, 4, and 5. Kung madami pa kayong makita sa kitchen or sa laundry area, pwede niyong dagdagan ng mga numbers na naririto. Question number 1. How did you classify the material listed on the table? How did you find out the common name, chemical name, and formula of each substance that you have listed? Based on the data of the materials that you have found at home, what can you say about the number of mixtures over the number of substances we utilize at home? So, ano ba yung napansin yung mas marami? Yung mixtures ba or substances? Tandaan, when we say substances, it can be element or compound. And when we say mixtures, it can be homogeneous or heterogeneous mixtures. We have here a lot of examples of the common mixtures and substances in the kitchen. Table sugar, soy sauce, fish sauce, or patis, coffee, milk, ketchup, wax paper, aluminum foils, and pots. Meron din tayo na matatagpuan sa ating CR or sa laundry area. Shampoo, soap, baby oil, lotion, detergent, fabric conditioner, bleach. And of course, sa ating first aid kit, merong alcohol, betadine, calamine cream, and petroleum jelly. Let's move on. Huwag niyong kalimutang basahin ang kanilang mga common name, chemical name, at ang kanilang mga uses. Okay? Activity 1.2. Watch and learn. So, meron tayo dito. All you have to do is to familiarize some ways on how to classify unknown materials as substances or mixtures. Dito, kailangan niyong manood ng isang video sa YouTube at sasagutin niyo ang anim na questions na ito. Madali lang yan, basta i-play nyo lang yung video at makinig at manood ng mabuti para masagot ang 6 questions na naririto. All the answers can be found in the video. Kung hindi nyo mapapanood ng video, maaari kayong magtanong sa inyong science teacher. Activity 1.3 It seems, but it's not. Classifying a known sample as substance or mixtures and distinguish mixtures and substances operationally. What are the materials needed? 2 tablespoon of table salt, 2 tablespoon table sugar, 3 transparent cups, glasses, spoon, and water. Seek the assistance from your parent or guardian in preparing the sample of materials for this activity to prevent accident. Tandaan, bawal lumabas dahil lang salt at sugar at ang tubig ay matatagpuan lamang sa kusina. Let's move on to the procedure. Prepare the following setup as indicated in the table below. Describe each material by completing the table given below. Put 2 tablespoon of each material inside a transparent container. Wala pang water ha? Observe its physical property. So, table salt. Sugar and water. You're going to write here solid, liquid, or gas. Is it uniform or non-uniform? Make sure ba siya or substance. Let's move on. Slowly, add one cup of water to each glass. So, lalagyan nyo na ng tubig. Observe what happens to their physical properties. So, we have A for table salt, table sugar B, and water for letter C. Let's move on to table. Fill out the entries based on your observations by answering each question with yes or no. So, materials mix. Glass A, so 2 tablespoon of table salt plus 1 cup of water. Glass B, 2 tablespoon of table sugar plus cup of water. Are the materials completely mixed? Yes or no? Are you able to separate the components or are you able to see the separate components? Yes or no? Nakikita mo pa ba yung salt at yung magkaiba sila? Nakikita mo yung salt tapos nakikita mo yung tubig. Ibig sabihin, separate mo silang nakikita. Or nakikita mo pa rin ba still yung sugar tapos yung water na magkaiba? Separate components. Are the particles settle on the bottom? So, ibig sabihin yung solute ba natin bumaba lang dun sa ilalim sa babang portion ng water? Yes or no? Can you identify the components of the mixture? Yes or no? Let's move on. Materials mix, components, mixtures, and substance. Glass A, meron yung salt at water. Glass B, sugar at water. Ang tanong, how many paces present in the combined materials? When we say paces, it can be solid, liquid, or gas. Is it homogeneous or heterogeneous mixture? Is it a substance? Again, 
substance, it can be element or compound, or mixture, right? Guide questions. What is being formed when two or more substances are combined? Compare the appearance of the mixture A and B. How do they look like? Paano sila nagkapareho? Can you still distinguish each setup? Yes or no? Alam mo pa ba kung nasaan yung may salt at kung nasaan yung may sugar? Question number 9. Compare the two samples with water. Is it easy for you to identify if it is a cup of sugar solution, salt solution, or water? Why? Suppose you forgot to put label on the setup by observing the physical appearance of the three setup. Will you still able to identify each particular mixture? Why? So, kahit daw walang ABC, alam mo pa ba yung baso na may salt, na may sugar, at saka na purong water lang? Bakit? Remember, mixtures are made of materials that are not chemically combined. Physically combined sila. They are also called impure substances for they contain substances with other materials mixed with them. On the other hand, substances are often called pure substances for they only contain elements or compounds that are chemically combined. Mixtures and substances can also be distinguished in terms of properties like boiling point and melting point. The boiling point and melting point of mixtures have different range. They have no distinct boiling point or melting point. Their boiling points will take place at a higher temperature and their melting point takes place at a lower temperature compared to the boiling point and melting point of a substance, of a pure substance that are definite and does not change in the heating processes. Yung mga substances kasi na elements and compounds, meron silang definite na boiling point at melting point. In identifying unknown liquids or solids, bear in mind that you are not allowed to taste it for it could be unsafe or hazardous to your health. Bawal tikman kasi hindi mo alam kung nakakalason or hindi. So, it's very hazardous to your health. So, how will you test the sample's identity in a much safer way? You could try a comparative test for clear liquids. You may observe the following properties like density, texture, odor, freezing point, and boiling point. Some of these may tell you that the sample is a mixture or a pure substance. So, meron tayo ditong laboratory setup, evaporating dish, tripod, Bunsen burner, wire goes, and heat proof mat. So, what are you going to do? You're going to analyze the following statements and determine whether the unknown sample is a substance or a mixture. Write S if it is a substance and M if it is a mixture on your answer sheet. So, meron tayo ditong 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yay! Tapos na tayo. Let's move on to your post-test. Choose the correct answer for each given question and write the letter of your choice on your answer sheet. So, meron tayo ditong five questions. Kung meron pang hindi maunawaan or maintindihan sa concept ng module na ito, maaari mong i-PM ang iyong science teacher para magtanong. Tandaan, sa panahon ngayon, mga bata, ang kalusugan ang importante sa lahat. Bye!